So I said, look, God, what's going on here? And God said, this is a lesson about trust. Not only for you, but for those that come to you. It's a teachable moment for them, and it's a lesson for you. So I was like, oh, great, what does this mean? You know, because I think that's the most important thing we need to know, period. Even beyond love. I mean, love is trust, and trust is love. So... In order for us to fulfill our divine blueprint on 3D planet Earth, we need to learn how to trust God and all that is, that knows so much more than we know. And even though there are times when we think we know best, they don't have it figured out. They don't know what they're doing. Do they even exist? Time and time again, I have been shown the answer is yes, they know what they're doing. And yes, they do exist. So, I'm going to go through each one of the astrological signs and give you the messages that I received this morning with a piece of paper and a pencil. And then instead of pulling cards made by somebody else, I have my own Oracle card deck. You guys know this, but I made these cards one word and we're going to use these cards to validate the message that i received prior to now i'm shuffling these cards i don't know how they're going to lay and how they're going to come up so we're going to begin this is the message that i received collectively confusion slash crossroads change is imminent there will be endings but there will be new beginnings it's going to be great so buckle up okay I have all 12 astrological signs here. I'm going to go through each message and flip a card. The first astrological sign is Scorpio. Scorpio, things are slowing down for you. And they're slowing down so they can speed up. You know what it's like when you have to slow down, you got to get somewhere and you have to slow down because there's a traffic jam or because, you know, there might be an accident, God forbid, on the road or a stop sign even. Well, this is similar. It's a slow down almost to a stop, but not quite to speed up, to gain momentum. And this has to do with family and also with your job or career. That is the message. And let's see what we have for a card for you, Scorpio. Ooh. Health and stress. Two cards came out, so I'm going to read them. They were stuck together. The slowing down is for your health. 
and it's to eliminate stress. There, as far as the medical issues, I can't, I'm not a doctor. I'm just going to say health, you know what that means, and stress. These two things are a ticking time bomb. If your life has slowed down, there's a reason for it. But it's not going to stay there. So take the time to enjoy every second of it, if you can. Oh, boy. Okay, Sagittarius. Your cards flipped out while I was shuffling. Sagittarius, unexpected surprises, career and love. So three cards fell out for you. I was only going to pull one per astrological sign, but I'm going to let it happen like it's supposed to happen because we're trusting here. And I don't know how these cards are going to fall out compared to my messages. But Sagittarius, there are unexpected surprises coming for you. You got the number four. It could mean four days, four weeks, four months. It could be that your angels are supporting you right now. But you got the number four. It could be the fourth month, right? It could be the fourth month. So when you see this reading, think about that. The second one that we got, <laughs> okay, Sagittarius, unexpected surprises, career, and love. A business opportunity. That's the unexpected surprise. A business opportunity. So I'm probably going to say four weeks to four months, okay? Not really four days, but I mean, it could, okay? And then the third card that fell out, did I say love? Relationships. So if you're not in a love relationship right now, that's coming. That is coming for you, Sagittarius. That is your message. For the next week and further, actually. These readings are timeless, so... When you click on them, it might just be the time for you to be, be hearing this message, okay? The next one, Capricorn, stop procrastinating. No more excuses. The people around you are really tired of your excuses. And I think that you're making these excuses because you really feel stuck. And then the cycle is you've been procrastinating. You need more than what you've got in order to keep going. So you've got to make another choice. Stop procrastinating on it, okay? It could be an adjunct to where you're going right now. Let's, let's see what your cards have to say. All is well. All is well. Sometimes the reason that we procrastinate is because of everything that's going on up in here. And repeat this every day. All is well. All is well. Even though all might not seem well to you or maybe all isn't well to you. All is well. All is well. That's the trust. Okay? You are going to be able to pay back the people you need to pay back eventually. Okay? So, stop procrastinating and look for that, that other opportunity that's just around the bend for you. Okay, Pisces, running in circles. Make a choice and stick with it 
for the long haul. Pisces, you have been in and out of what you've been doing. I mean, seriously, you've been in and out of it. You love it, you hate it. You love it, you hate it. And round and round and round she goes and where she stops, nobody knows. And that's the problem. We're talking about trust issues here. People need to be able to trust that if you're going to make a commitment, you're going to be in it for the long haul. And this has to do with either a relationship or a job career choice. Like, you signed up for this. It's not going to change just because you decided you're sick of it. So you have a decision to make. Stop running in circles and make that decision. And then make the commitment to stick with it. Because the long term is what's going to get you where you need to be. Okay, Pisces? Let's pick your card. Exactly. Yellow. This is the solar plexus. This has to do with jobs. This has to do with movement. This has to do, but the movement that you have right now is circles. You want to move forward. You want to make that commitment. Okay. Get some healing in your solar plexus. And, you know, if you don't believe in that, then make a choice. And stick with it. Make that inner commitment. And people will start to trust that you're not blowing hot air when you go and, you know, get a job and what you're doing. And then you decide, I don't like it anymore because I'm tired or because of this. Stick with it. Make a plan. Go to bed earlier at night. Get up early in the morning. Get your stuff done. All right? This was your choice from the get-go. So yes, the, the yellow, the solar plexus confirmed that this is what's happening. Okay, Aries, you can't always have it your own way, Aries. Like, you don't know boundaries. And the message for you that I got has to do with relationships and suffering from burnout. And that's because you constantly think that your way is best and that you shut down when it comes to other options or you make it look like that you're considering those options, but you really aren't. You're, you're, you're not, oh, you're not open-minded. You're actually very close-minded these days because you've been shutting off, out everybody else who's been saying, look, you know, I have a suggestion for you. So you're being asked to trust that other people can step up and do the job just as good as you. Okay. You can't always have it your way because that leads to burnout. You've got to start delegating and you've got to start appreciating the people that are there for you and helping you because they're not going to want to stick around. Okay, let's see, Aries, what your card has to say. <laughs> oh gosh almighty this you can't make this stuff up right here let go let go of the control let go of thinking like you're the only one with the answers and release this because we all need each other we all need each other even though Sometimes we, I can do, I can do, no, we all need each other, right? You got to start delegating some responsibility, 
Aries. Aquarius. Water is great, isn't it? We drink it. We swim in it. We bathe in it. But the message that I got for you, Aquarius, right now is that you are drowning. Like you, you've got your head back with your lips, you know, sucking the air. You, you are drowning, right? You're suffocating. You are also on burnout mode for a different reason. You've taken on way too much responsibility and it's because of your family. Because you need to. You need to. Either you're a single parent or you're the one that makes the most money because of whatever's going on in your family. And you're, you're, you're burning out. So your job is to either lessen your load or get some time management help. You know, go on YouTube, take a small course that isn't going to cost a lot of money. You know, they have them where you can take, you know, a couple of hours of course. <laughs> and this is your card, number four. So what this means, the number four, I mentioned it earlier, is not the angel card. I don't feel like this has anything to do with four months, four days, or anything like that with you. You are being held up by the angels. Your guides, your guardian angels are holding you up because you are suffocating. And gosh, I would hate to see your whole entire life fall apart. And it's nice to have money. It's really nice to have money. We need it to survive. But if there's a way for you to survive uh, by slashing your schedule, do it. You need more time right now to not be constantly moving. And by the way, your kids don't have to be in every freaking school function there is. Or sport. They don't have to be. Sometimes it's good to just let them find their own way. And then support them. Okay, Gemini. Gemini, you are avoiding the real issues in your life right now. Let me tell you. You're avoiding yourself, what's going on in here. You're avoiding family, what's going on with them. And you're avoiding love. You're avoiding communicating what's bothering you. And then what happens is you blow up or you break down. So let's see what the cards have to say for you. And I, my feeling, Gemini, is that you, you just stop avoiding. Just say it. Say what you feel without crying without just take some deep breaths write it down on paper you know make a short sentence you know sometimes when when kids hear I'm really disappointed in you right now we'll talk later that's better than screaming and then think about what you're going to talk to them about and your partner your partner isn't going to know how to love you if you do not express to them what your needs are. And what are your needs? That's where the self comes in. So I really feel like you need to take a look at this. And you might be a light worker. Light workers are super duper sensitive individuals. They feel everybody's energies. And then sometimes what happens is they go into avoidance mode. It's just easier that way. I know. <laughs> I've done it. 
Denial is another one. I lived many years in denial. But the truth of the matter is it doesn't help anything. It doesn't help you. It doesn't help the situation. It doesn't help your family. So it's quite possible that you are a light worker. So do some research on that. Think about what I said. And, you know, just, just take it one step at a time, Gemini. Cancer. Cancer. You need to learn some communication skills. <laughs> Cancer, your reading is all about learning communication skills. Pardon the pun, Cancer, but when, when something happens and you get upset, you clam up. Clam up. And that's not a good space for you at all. You are... A person that needs to learn how to communicate. It is going to help your career exponentially. And it's going to help your love life and your family life. But but this this clamming up and then pretending that you know nothing happened or or being cold stone silent, it's not gonna help you, it's not gonna help your job, it's not gonna help your family. So you're being asked to learn some communication skills and you're being asked to trust that this message is for you right now. Let's see what card comes out for you. Wow. <laughs> Number 11, right now. Number 11, this is something that you need to do right now. Learn coping skills, communication skills. Start reading about it. Start watching videos about it. The 11 showed up. It's a master number. Because if you do this, you are going to be the master of your own life. This is really important. Okay, Leo, learn when not to say anything. Okay, Leo, I mean, you may want to use your lion, lioness or lion roar when things are not the way they're supposed to be or the way you think that they're supposed to be. Your MO is to just kind of like, you know, yell or get it out. You're not, you're not really, it's kind of selfish because you're not really thinking about who you're affecting, right? It's different if you're in the woods and there's nobody. Well, there's birds and things like that, but they're free to go. People in your house aren't free to go. People at your job, you know, if they've got to stay there and work, they're not free to go. And then it's not fair that maybe you suck it in all day long and come home and then dump it on everybody else. Learn when not to say anything. Do something constructive while you feel that way. I know, it's hard. I'm a Leo. Believe me, it is hard. If you do this, you are going to be on an unbelievable journey. Unbelievable. Right around the corner. And it has something to do with the arts. These two cards just flipped over. And... Abundance. I did not pick those. I was shuffling while I was talking and they flipped over. So Leo, take it from me. Learn when to not say anything. Because it, it will change your life. It will change your life. 
Okay, Virgo. Self-care at this time. For you. And then it will be for your family. You're going to be taking care of your family members. If you want already. So, so in order to be there for them, you need to take care of yourself too. And I keep, listen, I say you need, but what, what I mean by that is you need is a suggestion. Okay. It doesn't mean I'm telling you what to do, but you're going to have to be there for your family. And rest up, just rest up, because I, I see you as kind of like a free spirit, uh, but they're going to need you. They're going to need you. And um, that's going to be a little difficult for you. It's going to be a balancing act. So that's why I'm saying, you know, make sure you take care of yourself as well, Virgo. I don't know why I got that card. I don't think I was supposed to. Okay. Change. Change. Things are going to change a little bit in your atmosphere. And there are going to be some people in your life that need you. And remember, while you're in the midst of this, don't forget to take care of yourself. Okay, Virgo? Taurus. I'm sorry. I had a sneezing attack and I'm sniffling. Taurus. <laughs> this is kind of a funny one. Herding the cattle makes for closed gates. Cattle don't like to be rounded up. They like to graze. They like to, to you know, stick together, and but they don't like to be rounded up. But you have to, right? You have to round up the cattle if you want to get anything done. It, and, and it's part of the structure of things. But for you tourists right now, you're being asked to open doors but not shut them. Okay, so you herded the cattle, you got got this, you know, community event going, whatever it is, and and now you're you're delegating, but you're being kind of like you're shutting some doors here. And you want these people to continue to be part of the community. I mean, yeah, there's going to be a few stragglers, you know, that you're going to have to go look for. But you want people to come of their own accord. You don't want them, you know, to be rounded up like cattle and then, you know, da, 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 da. no, you don't. Give them some flexibility. I know it's stressful to be the leader, but that's, that's what's going on with you right now, okay? There's an opportunity, a community opportunity, that if you could lighten up a little bit, it would be a great success in the future. Let's see what your card has to say here. Oh my gosh, you got number four too. So the angels are working with you. The angels are working with you as well. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm sensing, um, angels, angel classes, angel something. Okay. Something to do with angels for you. And also the number eight fell out onto my lap and the number eight has to do with, you know, the infinity. I, I, I'm not going to go into the numerology of it. I'm going to turn it sideways, more like the um, Mobius strip. So it's it's kind of like, you know, if you want abundance to come in, you kind of, it's almost like, you know, rounding up the, rounding up the cast. You want to keep it flowing. You don't want to, you know, cut it off. You want to keep it flowing. 
okay? Taurus, those are your cards. Oh my gosh, Libra. Libra, we all know that you're all about balance. But the message that I got for you, in order for you to bring a situation in your life that's out of balance, back into balance, is by detaching in love. And this is a family issue. This is a family issue that you cannot control. And I understand that you see what's going on, but you can't control it. So the best way for you to handle this so that the situation that's off balance can go into balance is to detach in love. That is the message I got from you. It has to do with family, and it is such a simple message, but it came out very strongly. I'm sensing that there is a, uh, a link that's been broken or um, maybe someone in your family is, is making it very difficult and creating this break. Um, and then, you know, of course there are other people involved and here we have grief and, you know, grief, I don't feel like, well, there could be a twofold meaning here. It could be that somebody passed away and that there's a, there's a break in the family, right? Because it's, in, it's out of balance. So your job is to just kind of detach in love and let this play out so we can come back into balance. And if it's, it's somebody in your family um, that might be causing a ruckus, this is causing you grief. Or maybe, maybe you're not being allowed to see someone that you love in your family. And there's a whole lot of grief in that. Maybe there's some form of estrangement. So detaching in love not only helps the energy around this situation come back into balance eventually, but it also helps you. Because it will prevent you from doing anything that you regret. Okay, Libra? I think I did it. I think I got all 12 astrological signs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I wanted to end with this. The, the um, prologue to this video. Confusion. Crossroads. Change endings new beginnings it's going to be great it's going to be great the outcome the energy's outcome there's going to be healing there's going to be more love coming in there's going to be balance there's going to be inner wisdom there's going to be a shift in careers for the better maybe even within where you are there's going to be open communication and there are going to be many many lessons but it's going to be great. So that's it for this reading. I did not do these cards. This is for another time for a pick a card pile or a pick a pile. But I, I, I really, I really needed to, I really needed to 
use what I was given. This is just <laughs> insurance junk. I used the back of this paper. I just grabbed it and I jotted down all my notes as fast as they came. And I thought if I used these cards that it would work out really well for each astrological sign. And the message of trust, well, that's totally up to you, my friends. But you can't have love without trust. And you can't have trust without love. They work together. You may not love your job, but if you love God, you're going to trust your job situation and where it's taking you. Or the fact that you're going to be up against a crossroad and have to make a different decision. But there's always love there. God is love. God is love. God is. But the trusting part, that's up to you. That's up to you. Okay, my friends, be well, be blessed, be beautiful, because you are. Stay tuned for a new eye look. I did another, a different kind of eye look with the new eyeshadow palette that I got. And I also put on my new blush, which is amazing. So, as I said, be well, be blessed, be beautiful, because you are, because there is nobody else on the planet like you. You know that you're loved, and I hope you come back to visit me again and again and again. Until next time. You know I love ya. It's a wrap. I love what I do. Okay, sweet pea. We gotta go. We gotta go, baby.